using the Graco X5, I painted my shop this week, so I'll take you through that process, how to prime it for the first time, how to clean it out between the primer and the paint, and getting comfortable with it, the lessons I learned, and hopefully you'll avoid some of the mistakes that I made. Finally ready to paint, but first I gotta get this brand new sprayer going. So let me go ahead and hook up the gun. I do have the uh, gun with the 515 nozzle on it. First things first, I gotta hook the hose up. So set up, connect this hose, engage trigger lock, assure spray tip is properly inserted. Turn the pressure control knob to its lowest setting. Okay, separate drain tube. That's a smaller one. Place drain tube into a waste pail. Submerge suction tube into a pail filled with water. Lift the prime valve to prime. the prime button twice that's this button over here turn the pressure control knob to start position turn power switch on allow fluid to flow for 30 to 60 seconds <laughs> Submerged suction tube in a paint. I'm glad I have this little platform to put it on. Drain tube has to still be in now. So just turn on power switch and watch for paint to come out of the drain tube. I still have it on prime. Spray tip needs to be to unclog. Point gun in the waste pail. Pull and hold the trigger. Lower this valve to spray and turn it on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. Done with the primer for today. Tomorrow, I put the real paint on, so we'll see how that goes. So the first thing you have to do is relieve the pressure. Off on, switch to off. Engage the trigger lock. Turn the pressure control knob to the lowest pressure setting. Put the drain tube into the waste pail. And then pull up the prime. Hold the gun into the pail. Disengage the trigger lock and relieve the pressure. Okay, so I'm gonna do the two pail method, which for me is easier because I don't wanna deal with the hose. It's 14 degrees out right now, so we'll do the two pail method. What I'm gonna do is take this off. Go ahead and get this tip clean. The suction tube clean as well. Clean, it, clean up the tip guard too. Okay, all in all, my first use of this X5 is uh, I suck at it. I really started to get the feel about the time I was painting the ceiling. Painting my garage was definitely a learning experience. I wanted to share with you some of the tips and lessons I learned. Tip one, get the pressure setting dialed in. If 
find a place where you can test that spray pattern and then adjust the pressure accordingly. Tip two, keep the spray tip a consistent distance away from the wall. I found myself extending the, the nozzle away from me at the end of each stroke and that created a lot of overspray. Tip three, be careful using a flag. I used this several times and actually dipped it into fresh paint a couple times, so be careful. Tip four, have a small roller or brush nearby. That way you can take care of any splatters or runs or the dipping of the flag into fresh paint, that kind of thing. Tip five, use extensions. I found that using a 30 inch extension allowed me to paint the ceiling without having to climb on ladders. Tip six, watch for splatters from the extensions. I found that if I pressed and released the trigger too many times that splatters would come from the extension, so watch for that. Tip seven, skip the plastic for drop cloth. I, I used some plastic that I had left over from construction and I wish I hadn't. The overspray just created a huge mess on the bottom of my shoes, so skip the plastic. Tip eight, take your time masking. This thing shoots out at pretty high pressure, so it can blow the plastic right out of your masking tape. I also kept a damp rag around just in case I had overspray on something I didn't want it. Makes it real easy to wipe it off. And finally, a bonus tip. Even after letting the paint dry for 48 hours, I could not get the masking tape to stick to my new walls. I used a hair dryer for about 20 seconds where I wanted the tape to go and it worked.